Alright, just leaving Best Buy. I had to go get the new Hero 10. So I'm excited about this. You guys know I love GoPros. GoPro hates me. But uh, we're going to go home and we're going to uh, unpackage this thing. And I'm going to give you the real truth about this GoPro. I've flown them all. I've crashed them all. So we're going to go through this thing. And I'm going to give you the naked truth about this GoPro Hero 10. What's up, guys? We're back finally with another video. But today's a little something different because you guys know I'm kind of like known for like destroying GoPros and all of that. And today the Hero 10 came out. Had to have it. Had to go get it. I got it earlier today. I didn't even like open it up because I wanted you guys to get like exactly what comes in the box and see what you guys are actually getting. So right now I'm just going to pop this plastic off. And just go over some of just the specs that are actually on the side of the box. So now I don't have the specs to the GoPro Hero 9. I know some of them, but I don't want to just start spitting out things and then not be exactly right. So I'm just going to let you guys know about all the new specs or the specs that are actually on the box. <clears throat> um, so now it's a 23 megapixel camera. It records in 5.3K 60 frames and 4K at 120, which you've been waiting for for a long time. Uh, actually, 2.7K at 240 frames, which is going to get some dope shots with that. Um, it goes up to three, 33 feet, 10 meters underwater. Voice control is still the same. Uh, we have 8 times slow-mo, data overlay, time warp 3.0, 1080p live streaming, which is pretty awesome. Um, super photo plus HDR and raw photos. Um, uploads automatic to the cloud. Webcam mode, mod ready. And this is still the same, All everything is the same as the Hero 9 is in size and the way it connects to any of your mounts or anything like that. So you won't have to change that. Um, the one thing, I, oh, it does also come with the GP2 processor, which is supposed to be new and something crazy. And what I'm super excited about is this Hyper Smooth 4.0. And the Hyper Smooth on a 9 was always awesome. I use Hyper Smooth, why wouldn't you use Hyper Smooth? You pay $500 for a GoPro, you use all the options. So this is HyperSmooth 4.0. We're going to see how that works out. So I'm going to put this on the table, crack it open, and then see what we got in there. And then we're just going to go take it out and put it on a quad. And see how see how it films, see what, see what it looks like. See if it's better, if it's worth you spending the extra money, if you should wait. If not, so we're going to go ahead and put it on the table. All right. All right. <clears throat> Let's crack into this thing. Now let's see what actually comes. So I think that the only thing that you can tell the difference from exterior wise is that blue GoPro writing. How you can tell the 10 from the 9. And this is new. This was never on there. Saying that you must update before you can use. So we got the camera in there. Got a cord as usual. One battery. What's cool about this also is that the batteries are interchangeable between the eight, I mean the nine and the ten. So that's cool. So if you had a bunch of batteries, you could still use those for the ten. And we still have our regular little mounts that GoPro gives us. And one of those guys. And That screw thing. Other than that, that's it. Empty box. I don't know why GoPro keeps sending us these big ass boxes. I mean, like the first one's cool, but then after you start going through GoPros a lot, like I hope we're not paying for this. Like lower the price, GoPro. Get rid of this. We don't need this. So, so I hope you guys see all those things that come with it. Uh, don't forget a bunch of battery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna update my camera charge the battery up and then I'm gonna go out and we'll strap it to a quad and we see if we can film all right fellas now we are outside all right so we're bringing this thing out to the park I did notice something different though I meant to tell you guys I didn't get a chance to tell you last night was that the uh, hero 7 hero 10 does not record in 5.3 K any uh, frames per second in super view it's kind of a letdown for me. I was really expecting them to step it up to a super view at 5.3K, but apparently they didn't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take it up on the 
it's a quad. I don't know if you guys are just here for the GoPro or here for what we're here for, but it's a drone channel. We fly drones. This is why the heroes and GoPros are just especially like really dear to our hearts because that's what gets us all that cool and crisp footage. So I just set it up on the same settings that I usually fly on with the Hero 9, which is 4K, uh, 30 frames. With a couple little settings, I'll post the settings up now. Right, like right there, depending on how I'm framed here, there. <laughs> so we're gonna go put up pack up. So I'll fly in 4K, 30, and then I'm gonna put it in, and that's in super view. And all this is with uh, the stabilization. So which is, uh, oh my God, I'm calling a blank. Hyper smooth, so this is the new Hyper Smooth 4.0. All right, let's do it.
Alright guys, so let's go over this Hero Pen. So I've had it for a while now, about a week and a half since I recorded the very beginning because I wanted to go ahead and fly it and change some settings and see if how it feels or if there's a lot that's different to give you guys an honest answer of whether you should stick with your 9 or purchase up to the 10. Um, as you can see, let that focus. I already broke it. It is more durable than the 8 I'd say because I have crashed this a lot and especially like with very big head on impacts like that. But um, other than that, I mean, the megapixels going up by three makes a big difference. It is a lot clearer, so I feel it's a lot clearer looking at it through footage and things like that. Um, the HyperSmooth 4.0 is better, I will say that. Uh, all the slow-mo, I haven't really got a chance to mess with that stuff. I will put a list, like right now, from GoPro that shows the actual comparison for specs side-by-side. So go ahead and check that out. Actually, we're going to put that over my face like it now. So as you can see, there's not many differences here. There's a couple little things. There's set of 5K, there's 5.3. Instead of the megapixels are, instead of 20, they're 23 megapixels in the camera. Um, I would say as of right now, if you have a 9, stick with your 9. If your 9 breaks and you have a GoPro warranty, go ahead and upgrade. Why not? Uh, for photography and for a lot of like cinematic things and slow mos this is definitely going to be the much superior camera. As far as durability, it still does break as you see. So it, it is more durable. Yes, I have crashed it a lot more than what I've crashed my nines and it's taken a lot more abuse. But in the package, GoPro did an excellent job. It's a little lighter. I like the blue writing. Like I said, the footage is amazing. So uh, let me let me know what you guys feel like in the comments. If you have had the 10 already or if you're still flying a 9, let me know how you felt about the video. Let me know if you like different reviews like this and going into detail about some things. Not crazy detail because that's not me. You want crazy details, jump over to Joshua Bartwells and he can tell you everything about anything. Me, I'm going to give you the straight nugget truth. So buy a 10. Why not? It's a better camera. Definitely a better camera.